Welcome to this presentation on a cheaper alternative to CEMS, which is the Continuous Emissions Monitoring System. For CEM compliance, most of the process industry is still using hardware-based analyzers. These systems are costlier to operate and maintain, and here is why. In this picture, you can see all the parts which make up a typical SEMS. Here you can see how all these parts are interconnected. This one shows an overview of how the sample handling system works. This is a typical analyzer housing. As you can see, there are more than eight major parts of a SEMS, which includes the stack flow monitor, the heated sample line, the gas analyzer, the analyzer house, air conditioner, DAS, which is the data acquisition system, calibration gases, the sample handling system, which has several other parts, which includes the pump, chiller, and filters. In the next slide, we will show you how the SEMS actually work. This is important to know to understand how it is different from the PEMS. In this slide, we will show you how the hardware SEMS work and what makes it so expensive to install, operate, and maintain. We'll take the example of a combustion source. The sample is drawn through a heated sample line with the help of a pump and passed through a chiller to cool it to a temperature that the analyzer can handle. The analyzer then analyzes the NOx content in the sample and reports it to the DAS, which is the data acquisition system. The DAS then reports the NOx in PPM. Since the NOx is required to be reported in nanograms per joule, this requires the mass flow rate of the stack gas. To get that, mass flow meter is installed on the stack, which calculates the mass flow rate and reports it to the DAS, which in turn calculates the NOx in nanograms per joule. To make sure that the entire SEMS work accurately, it needs to be calibrated frequently for span check, zero check, etc. To do this, Calibration gases are required, which are hooked up to the sample handling system to calibrate and confirm the accuracy of the entire sampling system regularly. This is not all. The entire sample handling system needs to be housed in an enclosure to be safe from the ambient conditions and the enclosure needs to be air conditioned to maintain a controlled temperature. All of this hardware makes the installation, operation, and maintenance of the SEMS difficult and expensive. HEMS uses a software which collects the existing data from various plant sensors and uses machine learning to predict emissions level. Hence, it is called Predictive Emissions Monitoring System. Let's see how the PEMS works and why it is so economical to install, operate, and maintain as compared to the hardware SEMS. From the combustion source, for example, a boiler, the data signal is sent to the existing DCS of the plant. From there on, the parameters for fuel flow, air flow, combustion temperature, etc., is fed to the PEMS server, which then calculates and predicts the pollutants of NOx, CO, CO2, SO2, and O2. There are no moving parts at all, and you can see the simplicity of this entire setup. HEMS was developed in the 80s. It was installed for the first time and approved by US CPA in 1993. Since then, it has been installed at hundreds of locations worldwide. Both the SEMS and PEMS have their own strengths. The PEMS has following advantages. It's up to 50% lower in capital cost, up to 90% lower in operating and maintenance cost. It's a newer technology, requires only yearly calibration, and no spare parts are required. The hardware SEMS has the following advantages over PEMS. It adopts to process changes easily, is accurate over any range of operation, is suitable for quality control, 
and is suitable for incinerators. So if we were to recap, the PEMS is approved by the US EPA. It has lower capital, operating and maintenance cost, low manpower requirement, and it is simple and reliable. So what is next? If PEMS seems like the right fit for you, we can submit a proposal for a demo install at your site. Please contact us for more information. Thanks.